everyone, I'm sharing with you how to make another phone, wallet, credit card, whatever you use it for. Um, remember the tutorial I just shared with you were how to make things and if you use whatever you want, okay? So um, the interface in here I used the lightweight interface and this is 911FF and uh, it's light because I want to use um, interface and on each side of the fabric very very easy wallet everyone gonna love this so i cut two whatever i show you on this one you're gonna trace on this one and make the same thing okay happened in here that seven inches wide and 21 inches long 21 divide by three whatever you want to make you're going to divide get the number and divide by three okay so seven i usually go top and bottom like this so everything even for me and then seven on the other side in so i divide into three so if you want to make it smaller like either go down i go down to three inches and then on this side now the three inches I do the same here. I'm going to mark three inches and three inches on this side. And then I'm connect this three, three. Here, you're going to mark down an inch and half and then from this pointy here go into choice and in and half isn't that easy enough for you to make the same please I'm you I'm using the two and a half inch. If you're not sure, you can go to corner and corner, and then you mark in two and a half inch on the side and two and a half inch here, and then you go on to connect connect like this. Okay, turn it until you see side by side and meet like that. I show you how to do this. Okay, one and a quarter and one and a half and then two and then two and a half and then i have the bigger one too after that you're going to fold it in half and then you can cut Alrighty. so this is this okay so now this is the template you go to place on the other one like right here and then you go on to cut exactly the same and then you're going to cut the fabric. The fabric, you're going to iron on the fabric and you're going to cut it out a quarter of an inch all around. Okay? Everyone. I'll show you. This is the fabric I use for the main side. So I'm going to add the interface and this is a sandy kind of feeling facing down. I have to show you this because if I don't show you then I feel very guilty so after I cut in this one I'm you I'm decided to use orange because this have orange any color on this butterfly I cut the line in exactly like that okay so try not to use if I have butterfly here then the lining should be solid color any color here Try not to do another flower or another thing. It, it doesn't look good, okay? Whatever main side you use, the prints on the main side, then the lining can be solid. I After I iron in here, I cut around, and I want the second piece to be exact like that. Then I have to place here. I can place here. Like that and I cut exactly the same way the same like this and then after that I iron the second piece of the interfacing on the orange that way everything else is matching 
nice and perfect. So I'm gonna go and cut exactly. And put the interface in on. Ta da! Now you go on to iron on here. So after that, you're gonna place the right side after you ironed on the lining piece. Now you have to place, oh my god, the right side facing the right side. Everything meet nicely. And then you go on to sew, but you're going to leave it here about three inches open. Longer is better because you go on to inside out and then top stitch anyway. Follow the interface and all around here and then you go on to sew here. If not, you can sew a quarter of an inch. But this is the best way that you can follow the interface and don't sew on top of the interface and go right on the side of the interface. And everyone after I sew around here I am going to trim just the corner you don't need to cut because the interface and that helps too but if you want feel free to do that on here all you need to do just go right to the side the corner right here and go a little bit like that okay you don't need to do anything on this side So press all around and then after that you go going to iron this. When after you iron, you go going to top stitch all around the side here, all around, top stitch. everyone after I top stitch all around okay so you're going to go on the line inside you're going to turn this right side the one with the straight 
the one is small on the left so you're going to fold it down to here to meet the other side like so you iron this down you going to want to make sure the side here meet the side here too sometimes you know when i do the under uh, sewing on this room i can smell the perfume of my mom just right now i can smell it okay and then on this side here you're gonna fold it over to the other side this one i make it in the past but i make it smaller everything meet nicely like that you're going to iron this take your time to make sure everything meet up nicely okay i go on the other side every time i do little thing like that i always make sure thing is nicely meet very important so follow this top stitch and you go on down to here go on the top stitch right here and go down this way on this side follow the top stitch and then go on the full side go all the way down only left and right side Okay, this side because it that at the fold so a little thick. I have purchased this one, everyone, so I don't need to use my fabric all the time. Okay, and then I'm going to place it right in front of this. The same. It's just the same side that with the thickness, and now. Okay, so now it's like this. Like, this is the thing that I just use. I use this side and this side is thicker. It comes with two of them. So, all right, so we're going to divide this into two. That's why I don't sew the bottom because this needs to go on the sewing machine. So let's just mark the center. This is, I'm going to mark three and a half inches so this is the line that you're going to sew in okay and i will show you it's challenging to sew something like this but it's not that bad go and sew this center you have to separate it's down okay you only sew this one the back here don't sew anything in the back here just sew this part right here it's not that hard just take your time you can't do that walk away remember i told you walk away and when you sew you're gonna move the bottom of this away okay like that so it has to separate away from the body of the bat. The now you're going to sew the bottom back on. So now you have to the pocket okay and this one you leave it open for your phone so sew this straight line very simple everyone after this after i sew the bottom of the wallet you go on the phone this side down this is the flap to cover that but i want to have two button okay so to make sure everything is staying in look at that how deep 
the pocket the slot so like that and i'm going to add one on each side a button so it right here you can estimate you can you can eyeball it i'm going down here i mark that line and then on this side i'm gonna do another button on this side all right right i'm gonna let this go in and then it have the pointy thing thing right here that you can just pull that in and then on this side another side of this this is easy to do and then the other side exactly the same okay okay <laughs> all right so now you're going to play when you're done this side you're going to do exactly the same to this side okay i'm just showing you one side so you don't fall asleep so right here okay so go on one side of the wallet okay i don't go to here i go to here Add this inside. That's how you add the button. And then this, the other side of the button. And let this go in. Snap this. Okay, and now this one. We'll see here and then you go on to do the other one for this side I finished everyone very easy to do everybody can do it okay look at that with the pocket inside here and then this here this for the credit card for cash whatever nowadays I don't bring any cash with me so but it's okay sometimes you need a few dollars whatever so you can leave the cash in here in this pocket it dip down here so it's safe okay and then I cut the same side of the credit card of this one you can put on one side your bank card or whatever card you use and then you put this on the other side it go all the way down you can see and then the phone bring the phone with you so you don't pass out seriously every time you drive out of your home and then you're like oh my god where's my phone where's my phone okay and then you snap it right here close it beautiful stay safe everyone thank you so much for watching continue to support my channel like share and subscribe the like button very important everyone you when you watch the video the like button is under the video click on that and continue to watch my video also the second channel where my cooking everyone asked for it but i upload a video two days now and uh, nobody coming to watch stay safe love you thank you for watching and um, I don't know what my second channel, I give it another week to see how it goes.